Hello, 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 hello. If you are new to my world, hello. I don't know whether you can hear the guinea fowl. I've got three guinea fowl um, standing on my fence and they are making a lot of noise. <laughs> they obviously want to be heard, which is what this video is about to, certain to, to a certain degree. I want to um, share with you what was coming through for our community, for the collective as a whole um, during this eclipse portal. It's like at the moment we're in between, um, it's almost like we're in between the veils really, in like a time of no time. So we, we just hit, um, well as I'm recording this, the full moon in Pisces eclipse uh, only literally a, a few hours ago and we're uh, coming into the solar eclipse in on October the 2nd and this eclipse portal I keep on was kept on being told that this eclipse portal is in support of each one of us coming into more of our uniqueness. And what I keep being told is positioning. <laughs> and I was like, well, okay, what do you mean? So it's like, we are being um, guided, supported to step more into our new position, our new, you could call it new earth service roles into uh, a new leadership position, into a new role on this planet. But it's like a shifting of positions. And I see that shifting of positions. It's like you as a soul, you as an energetic being are anchored in this dimension, in on this planet, through your physical body. And it's like this full moon lunar eclipse that we've just gone through is a radical opening up of a shifting of positions with, within this planet as to the roles that we each play and how we kind of are more of service through our unique frequency. So this eclipse axis and the whole of this eclipse portal is what we're going to be experiencing more of in 2025. And that's really important to understand is that this is just the beginning of this radical shift in positioning. Now, if you're watching this video, it's because you are already... Um, you know, aware, a light worker, you are a, 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 a light worker, a grid worker, an empath, a creative, you're someone who is already spiritually aware, otherwise you would not be watching this video. So it's really, these are the people I'm talking about, that you, I'm talking to you as someone who is aware that you are being asked of the universe, of your higher self, that it's now time. It's time for you to come into this new positioning, into these new roles, into these new um, templates, as it were, as the, as the old planetary roles are um, and organizations and systems uh, uh, continue to collapse, we're now seeding the new. This is the new that's coming through. And it's, it's supported through each one of us stepping more into our uniqueness and stepping more into our gifts and, um, and abilities and talents that are spiritually 
and creatively driven. That's really important. It's like, it's like this is the, the, the kind of what we're driven by is, is our passion for our spirituality and our creativity and sharing that with the world. Now, along with that, for that to really take off and for you to have that impact, you also have to work through a lot around abundance codes and also clearing of past life um, trauma of and, and where you've got locked in around um, vows, around poverty and um, you know, where you've kind of given your power away. Now, this is what's happened to a lot of us, right? And so a lot of us are having to, right now, and have been for the last year or so, clear, almost like, I suppose you could call them mini holograms, that are like a, a, a matrix that's within our energetic system that we filter everything through. And until we clear that, um, you're not going to be able to really fully step in and embody this new positioning, this new service work or, or a strengthening of your service work and the impact that it can have until you clear that, that kind of matrix, this hologram, uh, this kind of grid that's within your overall grid. So I hope that makes sense because this is what's really happening here <laughs> um, from this full moon in Pisces um, eclipse because it's a huge, huge ending of many soul contracts of um, karmic trauma, karmic wounding, that we're fully clearing so that we can step into this whole new template. And we have to clear. So you'll, you'll, you can clear like there'll be a release, but then there has to be a full integration of that. And what that means is that the, there has to be an emotional clearing as well, and often a, a physical clearing to support a full embodiment as you step into that next level of your positioning in this world, on this planet. And this is what this Eclipse Portal is supporting you to do which is why a lot of you may well be sensing and also even experiencing a lot of endings right now. Those could be endings in your outer world, like endings um, of jobs, of relationships, of friendships, of um, a location that you're living in. Um, things may even just, it could be an ending, could be a crumbling, things don't seem to be working anymore in the old way that they used to work. Also could be very internal where you're feeling a lot of grief, you're feeling like at loss, you know, kind of like, like literally in between two worlds because that's exactly, that's exactly what's happening. And you, you feel kind of like directionless. And you just feel like you're drifting a bit. And some of you in those shifts of, of, of a release going on where things are leaving your reality, your world, there can be a lot of a sense of loss and uh, maybe regret or like a questioning, like, why did that happen? Why did that happen to me? Or a feeling of that wasn't fair, you know, that that wasn't right, what happened to me. Um, and some of you may be going into feeling a little bit like a victim through that. Now, the most important thing I feel that we can do right now as, 
as those losses come in and things are leaving our world, people are leaving our world, situations are leaving our reality and our world, is to be able to see it through higher consciousness because it's only in seeing it through higher consciousness that you will actually be able to make that shift. If you hold on to the grief, if you hold on to the regret, the regret, if you hold on to the loss, the despair, the feeling not good enough, if you hold on to the regret of it, feeling helpless, feeling like you're the victim, and you don't shift emotionally through that, you will not be able to land into this new positioning. You won't be able to do it because your emotional body will be locked in at that lower frequency. So this is a reminder for all of us, including myself, <laughs> not to focus on what you're leaving behind, but to focus on what is ahead of you, what is coming in, what is, is your wishing to bring in, what is the new. Um, I've recently um, kind of just updated a bit my North Star Vision Quest workshop, so for some of you, you might find that super, super helpful and beneficial because it's supporting you to connect up to the North Star energetic, like attune energetically to that frequency to start opening up. Because a lot, a lot of us may not know yet or have not any real, anything solidified in terms of what we're stepping into. And so it becomes very difficult to focus on the new when you don't know what that new is. So um, that workshop may really, really support you. It's also, that workshop is also part of my Temple Activate, and I'll put the links uh, for you down below for that as well. So that to me is the key, is to keep the focus on like your, your North Star vision, on what it is you wish to bring in and not so much focus on what it is you are leaving behind because your vision becomes the bridge energetically for you to um, pull in those frequencies because everything is to do with frequency, everything, 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 everything. So by focusing on the vision, what it is you wish to bring through, um, you can then start to connect into the vibration of that. That's how we really start to co-create with the universe um, in a way that's so much more joyful, uh, with so much more ease and grace through that. And this is one of... And, and I do appreciate it. it is a very fine line with this because, and this is what I call decoding, because in that decoding process, when you're unraveling, when you're releasing and letting go, you still need to feel it. You need to feel those emotions because unless you feel them, you can't release them. So we, we'll, you know, we'll often have those triggers, right? And some of those triggers are outside triggers, some of those are internal triggers. But those triggers then enable us to connect into those emotions. And the way that you can move through it with as much ease and grace is to be able to literally hold the two together in your awareness at the same time. So it's like you're holding the, the new, you're aware of the new, but at the same time, you, you are also connecting to the grief or to the regret or, or, or to whatever it is you're feeling and releasing that and allowing that emotionally to flow through you whilst you still have that wider awareness that this is for your highest good. This is all in divine timing. There is a reason why this is happening. 
and it's not happening to you, it's happening for you. It's happening for you, for you to get into this new positioning. And that is the that is the power of the decode. And this is where, this is really the divine feminine mysteries. Um, this is a lot around to me, the black Madonna codes. There's lots of different goddesses and um, beings on this planet, past ascended masters who have held those black Madonna codes. So um, this is an important part of any, any deep transformative work. But it's important that we don't kind of wallow in that and get stuck emotionally, like loop in those emotions and don't see it through to the completion. And so I'm inside Temple Activate. I'm, I'm bringing through a, a whole workshop called The Decode on that. Um, and if you want to work more with the Black Madonna codes, then that's something which I just uh, facilitated yesterday, which was a um, Crystal Merkaba grid journey to Shach, to the crypt, to the underground uh, chamber, like the the like a, it was like a subterranean chamber, like you would get at Pyramid of Giza where you're delving into your subconscious to be able to bring up to the light what you need to bring up. This is very much the energy of right now uh, because of this full moon um, eclipse in Pisces that was also very, very much got Neptune brought into that energy as well. So, so much going beyond the veils, so much of that energy. And working with the uh, the dark goddess, working with that black Madonna energy, so so potent within that, and so you know, working with sacred sites in that way enables you to activate those codes within you, and then um, then it becomes that uh, that process of decoding to release, so that you can integrate. And again, this is all the work that I do inside Temple, inside Temple Activate. So as we move through this eclipse portal, we are going to experience a lot of changes huge amount of uh, changes internally and externally because our external environment reflects our internal environment and so there's a lot of I feel so much more passion so much more excitement new beginnings that are birthing but we need to move through that decoding process before we can recode and that recoding will uh, start to really come in over the solar eclipse on the 2nd of October. So on that solar eclipse, I will again be facilitating a crystal Merkaba grid journey, like a, a live planetary grid transmission to Sharch again, but to the upper chamber. Because the upper chamber is all around the rebirth. So supporting us in that rebirth. And again, it is so easy to either get stuck in the decode, in the releasing or letting go, or for some of us, we may find it's in the birthing process that we get stuck. And in that birthing process, sometimes if you look back to your own birthing process, you, you can maybe get an idea of some of the patterns that come up whenever you're making a deep, deep transformation within yourself. If you want more support at that level, I did bring through a, a really potent program called Renaissance. And I have got it on an Eclipse special right now for anyone who feels that they want more support uh, because they are going through huge endings and new beginnings. And I understand it can be really challenging when you've got the ending, but you just don't know what that beginning is because you're going to have to trust in the unknown. You're having to trust in what you can't see yet. And you're having to trust for some of you in what you don't even know what's coming in, which can be very, very challenging. 
And so Renaissance really supports you in that. So again, I'll put the links below for you through that. So just know that everything is happening for a reason. Just know that it's all supporting you in this huge rebirthing process so that you can come into this new positioning on this planet um, with your unique gift. There's a lot around the uniqueness that is coming through right now, like your uniqueness and everything that's falling away around you in, in terms of um, including, you know, the way you're thinking and the way you're feeling about certain things, all of that is to support you to tap more into your uniqueness because there is no there is no template for you. There is no template that you can look outside of yourself for, right? Especially in, in, in your business, especially in your service work and when you're trying to get your work out there, it's everything is going to come from your own uniqueness and how you express that out into the world. So, so much of the work is internal for that. And this is what I do in Temple Impact. And again, I'll put the link below, but that's really supporting the energetics of um, how you get more out there. Now, I am actually... I've got a brand new program coming through, which I'm really, really excited about called The Calling. And that is really going to be working with that and the energetics of what you're of holding through the activation of your higher throat chakra, right? Which um, is like a, a, a center. So again, it's something that came through with, with um, the work that I was doing with my Ascension Vortex members um, last month. And um, it it came through very strongly how that is now activating for some people. And so I want to work more supporting people with that because it's like a frequency that kind of resonates out into the universe, which then magnetically pulls in those people that you can serve and support through your unique gift. So it's very much a divine feminine frequency in that it's not that you're actually doing anything, it's just that you're being. But your beingness is because of this activation of this higher throat, I'm calling it chakra, but it's like a center, it's there, and it's a mixture of your throat center and your causal chakra. So again, I'm going to put the links below for that. It's on early, early bird. I've not even got a sales page. I've got nothing out of that. It will be coming, um, I believe, in the next few, few weeks or so. But if you want to get on board straight away and lock it in that really low price, then I'll give you the link. So I'm super, super excited about that. Um, oh, and just to say, if you are a Temple Impact member, it's it will be free for you. It's going to go inside Temple Impact because I feel that's a big part of anybody who wants to get their service work out more out into the world. And to me, this is what this whole eclipse is about to a certain degree uh, because of the new roles that are coming in right now. So enjoy this uh, very, very powerful time right now and I'll connect in soon. Lots of love. Bye-bye.